the beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead them forward from this point on. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well warm. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any Tempest. It's good to be back, Soma. All as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor. You have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits. And at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grandbridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Leif, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a ward or a grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Eivor. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. Wilfram Telia von Spjölfeller. Thou art Frems to man. Galen, is that right? That's right. You are Eivor, the infinite fighter, a forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, we fight for her.
exit in. One on each side of the door. Move when you get a signal and not a moment before. Wakeman must know we're here. As he should. Turn Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha <laughs> ha! What are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman, Wigman, let's try one final time! Quit Grantbridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life! Ha! I command Grantbridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear! The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. <laughs> now, Danes of Grand Brickshire, retake what's yours. Look at Grand What has Wigman done to her? No time for that. We must free her first. I haven't seen Wigman since we breached the wall. Regroup at the Longhouse. We'll surely find him there. Forever. Come face your death. Heathen eel. Wigmund is gone. He's gone. <laughs> Any man who fights for Wigmund dies. To me. No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. 
I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn is prosperity. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, Why me? bounty. Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I have heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me. And the three in my inner circle. Wickman could have escaped in the chaos of the fight. The city was teeming with my men, posted at all gates. Wigman was shown this tunnel and used it both to enter and escape. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. 
Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel, and here, a gift, for retaking Grand Bridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. This tunnel leads to the longhouse. The trader marked it with a yellow cross, then opened the way and let them in. The trader must have exited here with a few more, heading away toward the riverbank. All that has happened. What if Soma is just cursed with bad luck? Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Deserting her now, breaking your oath, that is what will bring us ill luck. Eivor. I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, Humbled as I was, I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know it can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others, Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna? Well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I am eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Ava. The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. Let's go hooded here. We are a curse visited upon them all. Leave no house unburned. This is what they get for helping Rand Grand Bridge from Soma. For licking Eldam and Wickman's boots. Now that was something. Wickman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery Sutur himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. Mm. 
hair gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. That's not true. You think what? There's a bit of life left in someone long dead. No, it's the fumes in the body. Odors grow after a killing, so they have to escape by any means they can. Eivor, my muscle-banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Soma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa... ...smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love... everything about her. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leif? Oh, Leif's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might like your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruise is showed. <laughs> quick through the grass. Sound carries over snowdrifts. I learned. That's all of them. Ah, the solitude of after slaughter. Shame about the smell, though. Men shitting themselves. You fought very well, Birna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. This breeze blows as much <gasps> as a hailstorm. You cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you sail through a storm? You never mentioned. A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in. Got the priest and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum, the great summer army the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. What would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrun made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trade. 
I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leaf. Now let's take down Wickman's men. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. Priests' lies will not poison the Shire anymore. We should leave. Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. <laughs>